A snowy day for many of us uh, headed our way as we move along through this Tuesday. Uh, right now, so far, pretty quiet situation, but we are going to see things change and we're tracking some snow on radar. Uh, right now, activity is still hours away, still to the west of us, but uh, as we move along through the morning, the snow will begin to fly. We'll begin to see some of that make its way in our direction by around 9, 10 o'clock this morning. Officially, the advisory starts at 10 uh, for Rochester and areas of the west and north. The possibility of two or more inches of snowfall as much as five inches farther to the north uh, uh, in the, the heart of that main band of snow. 29, the current temperature right now as it look live outside with our Lewis Donato camera. 22, the wind chill air pressure is steady. We're on our way to the upper 30s, mid and upper 30s for high temperatures. Similar to the weather we had yesterday, a little breezier and of course a little snowier. We had flurries yesterday, kind of priming us getting us ready for this, and that's what we're facing today. A snowier uh, setup for especially the afternoon, but right now 34 temperature in Austin, Osage, Iowa 30 and it's 29 in Cresco. Clouds have taken over, but so far the snow still counties to the west, still well west of us, but as we move along that uh, snow will reach us uh, moving in on the heels of high pressure that moves out of the area and that upcoming storm system sets in for the rest of today. Future track looking at that snow west of I-35, maybe a couple of sprinkles or wet snowflakes around 9, 9.30. But really, nine to, uh, between 10 and noon is when most of this precipitation makes its way in. Uh, the best chances for snowfall and accumulation in Rochester to the north. As you see, a lot of blue coloring there, suggesting mainly snow, but southward a little bit of green. Uh, they'll be mixing in at times. Quite a bit of that uh, cutting into the snowfall potential south of Rochester. So much lighter amounts in parts of North Iowa, especially. And into the evening hours, a little bit of rain mixes in. A little bit of that mixture may make for a, slip, a slippery or a slick evening commute. I'll be beyond about 7 o'clock or so. Just sprinkles, and those will taper off by around 10 o'clock. Sprinkles and some light snowflakes. But again, the lion's share of the snow really falls during the afternoon time frame. Snow likely 10 until 10 uh, tonight. That's a uh, winter weather advisory. And again, mainly afternoon snow. Uh, for Wednesday, rain showers. Temperatures closer to 40. That'll be just a couple of sparse light showers after about 3 o'clock. And then really the majority of the day on Thursday, Rain and some isolated thunderstorm activity, so we'll have uh, showers and storms Thursday, a breezy day. Daytime temperatures, though, quickly warming to the 50s, by far the warmest day of the week. And then the weekend, unfortunately, not nearly as warm. We were looking at 30s for high temperatures by the time we get to the weekend. And this morning's commute around 29, the steady where we are right now, basically, over the next few hours with a fairly light breeze. Those winds will pick up. Snow develops between 10 and noon, lasting through the afternoon, 36 by 3 o'clock overall. High temperatures today around 37. Temperatures basically steady for the evening and dropping back toward the freezing mark uh, after midnight. Totals around the area, more specifically Rochester, about an inch or two northward. You get closer to Pine Island, Orinoco, up toward West Concord and uh, Kenyon. Those areas two to four inches and then maybe up toward uh, around Red Wing and uh, Vesa, up toward Cannon Falls, three to five inch potential. And then, of course, southward, south of Austin, less than half an inch of snowfall. As you saw on future track, there'll be a rain mixture really cutting into that snow potential. Snow comes in for this system on future track for the uh, heart of the day today. Then skies clear off tonight. We'll have some starlight for a time. A little sun maybe first thing tomorrow, but then some sprinkles come in from the west. Very sparse light showers for parts of our Wednesday afternoon. And then Thursday, a larger chunk of energy comes in for the south. Looking at some rain building in and some thunder. Gusty southeast winds up to 25 miles per hour. Rather breezy day, but that helps us warm quickly to those 50s. And then behind that Thursday system, a couple leftover flurries or sprinkles first thing Friday. It's going to be a chilly day, though, with the gusty winds. On the weekend looking a little quieter. There's a slight chance that maybe a little bit of snow on Sunday. We'll be watching a system that may graze the area uh, with some rather cold results. Those temperatures over the weekend, mainly only in the upper 30s. That is 20 degrees below the seasonal average. 57 would be typical for this time of the year. Today, 34 in Owatonna, 38 in Austin. 41 in Mason City here at Rochester, 37. An inch or two of snow here in Rochester, but areas northward again, four inches possible in the way of snowfall this afternoon with southeast winds up to 20 miles per hour. A chilly west breeze, skies clear off late tonight. A low of 32, though, uh, not as cold as the past couple of nights. Seven day forecast, 40s tomorrow, at least low 40s. And then that one day stands out as the, as the warmest, but it's going to be rather wet and breezy on uh, Thursday and the weekend. Uh, still pretty cold, and it looks like that cold's going to hold on into next week as well. Hey, where the snow?